Yo, what's poppin' boys and girls, ladies and gents? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for the support. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, also hit the like button. If you guys have been enjoying the content, we're trying to spice it up today, doing a little bit of bank fishing. We're gonna be throwing some big jigs for some big bass. We're gonna hop around to some ponds and try to catch a big one, man. Try to catch a big one. I love throwing jigs. Anytime I get a chance to where I can go somewhere where I'm like, you know what, I think they're gonna eat the jig good, you best to bet I'm gonna be throwing it. If you guys are wondering about the conditions today, it's pretty cloudy outside. Got a little bit of clouds, got a little bit of sun peeking through. It actually just came out and it's, it's very beautiful today. I think the high today is actually gonna be 90 degrees, which is crazy because we haven't had 90 degree weather in a very long time. So it is gonna get really hot today, but I think we're gonna end up catching them pretty good. So. Let's go ahead and hop right into this. I have a jig box that I brought out with me. I got all my rods. So we're gonna go ahead and rig up, get out on this pond right here, start off here, and uh, see if we can catch a big one. What are you doing, Cody? Come on, Cody. Oh man, come on, bro. Come on, man. You put these poles here like this. Come on, man. So we have all my rods with me today. I have a couple different ones. I got a Mach Smash, Mach 2, Mach 2, Mach 2, Mach 2 Real, Custom Pro, Custom Pro. So we're. Who did it? Who was it? I don't know, man. Oh my gosh. I cannot, believe, push him over. cannot believe it, dude. So we're just gonna be using one of my custom pros with the Mach 2. That's where we're gonna be putting the jig on today. I'm probably gonna rig it up on this rod, which right now I have a just a little Texas rig that we used in one of the recent river videos. If you want to check it out, I'll drop the linker down below. So we got a few boxes with us today. We got our jig box. We got our frog box because we're probably gonna film a frog episode, so stay tuned for that. We got the trap house. And then we also have some rage crawls. We got some of the smaller chunks right here. We've got a black and blue, a green pumpkin, and then a summer crawl. And then we have a regular rage crawl pack right there. This is actually my last pack of rage crawls, which is pretty depressing because we smoke them on that. So let's go ahead and show you guys what we got in the jig box and what we should tie on. So the biggest thing when picking out your color is what is the water clarity? What are we fishing today? and I'm gonna show you guys this pond. So recently this pond has actually been really dirty. The water's been super murky, there's a dead algae bloom, and they also cut down like a lot of trees along this bank over here. And ever since then, the water's just got really dirty. But recently, I haven't been out here in probably like three months, but recently it's been super clear. Like you can, it's hard to tell on the camera, but it's almost crystal clear. Um, me and Fletcher usually call this place the aquarium because the water is crystal clear. It feels good to see the water clear up. So there's actually a bass right there that's catchable and I'm just going to walk away. So with the water being clear like that, I think our best bet today is to go with a natural color, probably like a green pumpkin watermelon red or like maybe a green pumpkin blue jig. I think that's gonna be killer. So let's go ahead and pull one out of the box, tie her on, and catch fish. Alrighty, it is time to pull out the big jig. You like that one, Cody? Was it on beat? Yeah. When, All right. when are you gonna drop the link for that song? I don't know, dude. My SoundCloud to be down below. Your boy about to become an artist. All right, I think we're gonna go with this one right here, which is like a blue and green pumpkin jig. That's gonna look fire in that natural water. We only have two of them, which I'm kind of sad about. Wish I had more. So we got some like regular black and blue, like skipping jigs, got some footballs up here. Got some more football jigs, it's like, a green pumpkin with a little bit of chartreuse in it got like a pb and j color but yeah we're gonna go with that one right there it's just like a standard green pumpkin with a blue swirl very slight but i think that's gonna work well in this clear water and the crawls that we're gonna be using these are the rage chunks which are a lot smaller so we have Rage crawls right here, you can tell they're a lot bigger. These are the chunks, it's gonna work good on the back of this jig. Um, I'd almost rather use a crawl though. The thing is with this jig, you have this little screw lock. Mm -hmm. These chunks are gonna be a little small for that screw lock. So probably just go with the rage crawl. And this one is in watermelon red. Still gonna put off that natural vibe. It's a great clear water color as well. If you guys are looking for some soft plastics to fish in clear water. Watermelon red like that is, just like a go-to color, just like the green pumpkin. So to rig this up on this jig, I'm gonna go through the head of the bait, crack it through, and you have this little screw, screw lock. All we're gonna do is screw this crawl onto the back of this jig. This is gonna save you so many little crawls, so many soft plastics 
with the way that you can screw it on this jig it's it's actually crazy helps the bait stay on there very good you can tell it's flush on there and that is the jig that we're throwing it's a little natural color i think it's gonna smoke them all right we're gonna cut off this texas rig we might use her later today i'm not sure i don't know if we will or not we're gonna cut her off first thing we're gonna check do we have any frays in our line a little bit of line down and feel it cut just a little bit off now we're good to tie this jig you guys wonder what knot i'm tying basic standard uni knot that's about all i tie boys and girls i know most of you guys probably tie a polymer but whenever you get a chance i would look into the uni knot it's a very strong knot All right, we're all rigged up. Let's get it started. We're gonna walk down this pond. Like I said, ultra clear water, super, super clear. You can almost see these fish. When I came down here a second ago, I saw one roaming up on this grass and I don't see the fish anymore. But one thing I do see is a bunch of bait fish, some smaller bluegill. You have a little bit of grass on this bank, which creates for a little bit of cover. So what we're gonna do, I don't know where that bass went, but he could be under one of these little grass patches. I don't see him at all and I should be able to, but then again, he could be hiding. So let's throw this bait down the bank right here. Let's see if he's in one of these patches and if he'll come out and eat it. I guess he's not. Let's keep going down the bank. Look to your right. Oh my God. That was so cool. That was so freaking cool. All right, buddy. Oh, that wasn't supposed to happen. Look at that right there. <laughs> nice little bass. Is that not crazy, Cody? That was cool. We just saw those fish just come out of nowhere and boom, slabbed them up real quick. I was gonna try to throw back in super fast and catch his friend, but yeah, he kind of spooked off. Here, we'll just throw him in over here, but that's, get the monkey off her back. Chunky little guy, almost a two pounder. Throw her right back. Thank you, baby. That was cool. Oh, dude, look, look, look right there. Oh my God, there's three of them. Oh my God. You scared him whenever it went towards it. One there. I don't know which one I caught. Look at them out there chasing each other. Dude, this is crazy. Look, look. Dude, you see him going? Look. Oh my God. He's gonna eat it. Bro, what just happened? Oh my God, I see a good bass. I think he sees me, but there's a good bass right there. Oh, he's gonna eat it. There's two. This is the small one. Just call that one. I'm gonna throw him in over here. Oh my gosh, watch this. That's a good one. She should eat it. Oh my God, yeah, she's about to eat it, about to eat it. She just went away. You gotta be on bed. The way she's acting. Oh 
Oh, okay. Let's walk over here. Give that one a second. That, that fish should bite, but it's just being a little finicky. Bro, I just saw three fish, guys. We just came out to a new pond. I like walked up. There's three of them just sitting here. I'm like, what? It's crazy. Dude, that's a big one. Please eat it. That's a pretty good one. Oh, he's about to eat it. Yeah, that's a good one. Oh, it's your puppy. Look at that right there. Just got out here. Look at that pretty bad. What's your guess on the weight of that? I'm going to be honest, he's a pound and a half. He, that should be a two pound fish, but look at this. You see how skinny he is? Mm -hmm. So he looked a lot bigger. But... You want to throw it on a scale? Do you have a scale? Yeah. All right, let's do it. Pound and a half. What do you think? Pound and a half. I'm going to see it again. Yeah. My... I, think, I think that's about a pound and a half. See, he should be two pounds, but you see how skinny he is? I don't think. I don't know. Let's just see. You got. See, you actually brought one today. Yeah. I All right. It in, dude. I didn't tell you that I was bringing it. <laughs> All right. Let's do it. He's, he's bigger than I thought. He's a pound, pound and three quarters. I thought he was a pound and a half. Yeah. We'll give him that. Like I said, that could be a two-pound fish, easy, but just with how thin he is. But he's almost two pounds, pound and three quarters, right there. There's another one right there. So I'm gonna give him like a tiny toss right here. I think I stuck them. I stuck two of them. There's so many right here, Cody. I'm like watching them swim around. Super clear water. Dude, these fish are stacked right here. Look at how he ate that jig. That's a chunky dude. It's a pound and a halfer. So this is a pound and a halfer that should be in a one pound body. Here we go. That's a pretty, <laughs> that's a pretty fish too. Got pretty markings. There's so many fish stacked up. Oh, chew. Swimming that thing. That's a good one too. I'm in for a sleigh session today, guys. I'm like in the mode. So, you know, I talk about how to fish ponds in, in a few videos, but if you really want to catch a lot of fish, in my opinion, the best way is to cover a lot of water. Pay attention to what you're, wh where you're throwing at. I'm just walking down this bank, throwing parallel cast, and I just had that fish eat it. This is a standard skipping jig. I'm actually working in like a swim jig, hopping it throughout the water. That one tore it up. Thank you for biting, buddy. Oh my gosh. <laughs> These fish are mean in here, man. So you can tell what this bass did to this crawl. Switch it up, put another crawl on. I'm gonna pick that up. There we go, got a new crawl. So I know we talked at the beginning of the video and I was like, you know, the conditions today are a little cloudy. Well, this sun has just got out, just, just literally beaming on us now. And um, there's a little bit of cloud still in the sky. One thing I noticed about this bank, you know, I was gonna sight fish these bass. It got a little windy. You got this winds kind of pushing up in this bank. Not only that, but this bank right here is a big shade line. It's also got a lot of cover on it. See this bank right here, you ain't got anything. You got a little bit of grass, that's about it. The bank across, you got lay downs, you got cover on the bank and you got shade and you got a little bit of wind pumping up into it as well. So if there's any bass roaming, they're probably gonna roam right here. If there's any bass that are going to be tucked up, they're going to be on that bank, so we're going to pay attention to that. There he is right there. These fish are just tearing up my crawls today. He did the same thing. I, that's the only crawl that I brought out with me. I need to go back and get another one. 
Like he ripped it off and it's still on my hook. He just ripped it off the bait. It somehow got up there. It's pretty fish though. I was just swimming it like a swim jig again. Got a little bit of wind going past this little point. Should have been some fish stacked up on it. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Oh God, that's a big one, I think. Yeah, that's the best one yet. Uh. <laughs> Did you see that? Uh -huh. What is up with fish pooping on us, man? That was weird. <laughs> that was really weird. See it on his fin, dude? He just squirted it out right, right in front of me. He got a little nervous. That's a nice fish. Would you look at his tail, man? You see how it split up in all those little corners? Yeah. That's pretty neat. It's a really pretty fish. I had him in the bottom of the lip. That's why he felt so big, but it's about a two pounder. Might be our biggest. Thank you, bud. They're eating it so good. You know, we talked about throwing on that other side of the bank. That's exactly what that was, that first cast right up in that corner. It's pretty predictable, guys. You can tell where a fish is gonna sit, and that just looked so good that I think there could be another bass with him over there. There's a lot of laydowns that come off the bank, and uh, I think if we make another cast over there, we could catch one. Squeak, squeak, McGee. I feel it. I feel it. And he's a tiny guy. I did not expect that little tiny thing. Get up here, boy. That is not what we're looking for, but he is pretty. I will tell you that the colors on these fish in this pond prime there he is oh he spit it that was the best one yet that was probably a two and a half pounder i was just walking down the bank get back down to the spot and i was just reeling it he ate that thing that just shows you can work a bait in multiple different ways, guys. You don't have to fish it how everybody tells you how to fish it. You know, you can sit here and reel a jig and pop it and work it just like a swim jig or just any moving bait and, uh, you know, still catch fish on it. I'm just getting unlucky with these squeakers right now. Stop. Gosh, she ate that thing. Pretty good. Thank you, buddy. It was in insane. Oh, they're just loaded and they're stacked. Oh. They're running at me. This is just squeaker central. Why are you squeakers doing this to me? That is, look at the colors on that fish though. Yeah, he's small, but like, look, look at the golden. That is a golden bass. It's awesome. Thank you, bud. Oh my God. That's a good one. That's a knot, dude. That's a freaking chunk. Look at that one. You know, earlier, before I went back and picked up this cross, you know, we were walking down this bank and I was like, all right, that little grass patch. I didn't get a bite about five minutes ago, 10 minutes ago, but I just came back and caught that guy. Right off of that patch. It made sense, he's a fat one too, that's a two pounder. Nice. Thank you for biting, buddy.
She like swirled after it and never ate it. That was a decent fish too. She might eat it. She missed it. Oh man, that was cool. That was an awesome catch right there. Well man, today was a blast guys. I love getting big jigs. You know, coming out to some ponds, coming out to some lakes, wherever. And just catching some fish on them, you know. I want to film a big jig or, or just a jig video on the river here soon. But I had a good time bank fishing today. You know, I haven't been bank fishing as much. But, you know, I understand that a lot of you guys really enjoy the bank fishing videos. And I want to get some good content for you for y'all. But, uh, yeah, the jig got it done today. A little Strike King skipping jig with a Rage Curl. Catching some beautiful bass in this clear water pond. And, man, I had a good time. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. See you, buddy.